I cannot believe that we rolled our new side-by-side. -side. Ridiculous. I mean, who does that? I kind of checked out because I got a call from, from Ned, MTS. Our, our friends over at MTS, Off-Road Shots. They originally tuned our car about 18 months ago. We were actually blown away by how good the car felt um, 18 months ago. But this new tune... Okay, what's going on? I'm um, just taking a little ride. Then you're trying to fold them out and they just crumble and you get mad and you just throw it in the trash. But good news, we have a new uh, tarp for the Can-Am that fits perfectly. It even says Can-Am on it. Right there. Uh, today, April 5th, 2020, uh, Knuckles Up Group, James Murray, is, uh, asked for people to do a re radio relay. I don't know how well it's going to work. We're going to do that. We'll get a shot of that for you, hopefully in this video. Anyway, that's where we're at. I got to get this car moved. Remember this? Now look. Okay, so... Oh. What's Sorry. going on? What's going on? We are staycationing. Yeah, this is some more staycationing. That's what we're calling it. So really, it's just the weekend. We are what? Uh, I've been home for three weeks now working It'll be home. almost three weeks. So you're basically, we're 19 days in. Yeah. So... And we still, we're still married. So basically today is, what's the date? Today we, is the April the 4th. So we have 28 more days roughly or whatever, 27, 26, 27. of what's recommended so far. Uh, I don't know what Fresno is going to do as far as a city, uh, but that's what uh, Trump says. Um, we are not going to get into debating the pol any politics, any policies, how people feel about what we're yeah. staying in or staying out. Uh, we're not we're staying as much as we can. I'm working from home. Um, that's what we're doing because we can. I understand some people that you know some people are. I mean, what, what's the, what are they using? Essential. Right. So, and my job, I'm in communication, so it is considered essential, but I can do my job from here. So, and thank you for the people that are out there every yeah, day, definitely. like the grocery store workers, the fast food yeah. workers, the people that are delivering everything. Thank you guys. Yeah, we're, you're holding this world together the best it can be in this current situation. So. And we're going to be positive about this. And what we're going to do is we're going to listen. We're going to follow the advice of our president. Mm -hmm. Um, and our law enforcement and we're going to staycation in place and we're going to make the best of it and so today we're going to do garaging projects projects yeah. we're trying to be as positive as we can about this and stay productive so i've been here for three weeks solid without leaving almost at all yeah um so we're doing some projects here we go here's what i don't even like. know i'm gonna the, open the door and walk out to so the we already we put up a video that. yeah we already put up a video and we showed you what the garage looked like after our cleanup yeah. our general cleanup and here's I, I already tore it up, so here we go. Mm. We have this mess already. Because what I did was I moved the stuff that was so uh, nicely organized in this area out here. But look at all there is. Yeah. Yeah, not that much. Um, tires all over there. But what we're going to do now is we're going to tile the rest of this Question. as much as we can. Question, sir. Um, this is going to be the wall of oops and stuff. Should those tires be relocated over here because this is not really a usable space? Because you can't walk. We will see. Now Let's come. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's come back to that. But in the meantime, what we're doing, uh, this probably looks funny right now. Basically, I'm sure you can tell we're going to tile the rest of this, like I said. And here's the problem. We only have so many black ones left. Um, this one has a mess on it. We only have so many black ones left. We want to continue our black line that goes across there, which is kind of a di divider in between. That's bench area, tool area. That's parking, working on car area. Now we're going to divide even further. This is also a storage tool welder area. So what we're going to do, we only have so much black left, like I said, but we have a bunch more white. So our plan is to use what we have instead of going to Lowe's because you know that way we don't expose, expose potentially other, other people else. or other other people or ourselves so using what we have at home 
and making it happen. Making it work. We'll be back. Um, so I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to start laying this down. We'll be back. Okay. So here's where we're at. I stopped for a minute, took a little break. Um, we got to the end right here. We have this end, end row, right? That I did whenever I did. Uh, I don't know why I chose to do it that way. I did. Anyway, we have this end row and it's all black. So, but it requires cutting the tile. And I already took glue out of here. So now I'm in the glue, cutting the tile, whatever. Probably doing it wrong. I don't care. Doesn't matter. But comment. Tell me what an idiot I am or I'm stupid. That's fine. Um, but look at this. I did all that not knowing what I'm doing and we've been using it for a year. So we're going to continue on not knowing what we're doing and doing it because it works. That's what's going on. Uh, join us right here for some uh, fast forward, not fast forward, time lapse. You know what I mean, this guy. did it. Look, it's going to seem like a very small achievement for some of you. Oh, that's me too. But I did it. Here we go. Okay, so I don't know if you were paying attention earlier in this video. I wasn't. But <laughs> we uh, had two boxes of white, right? This box with all this. But in reality, all this black was underneath it. So we did this whole calculation about how you know as to about how far we could go with the black so we said we wanted to keep this line across here and do checker as far as we could and then do just white for the rest right but we have more black than we thought so now we're recalculating so we're going to lay out as far as we can because my priority is I'm gonna do this one row for sure, just so we're at least to the end of the hoods for now. Because again, the reason for all this extra effort is that we just wanna use what we have today, rather than go to the store and get more. So I'm gonna do this one row. Then my goal from there would be to fill up this area as much as I can. So that's what we're working on. We'll be back. Okay, I should have videoed that. Have you ever had the easy up, you know, the thing that folds out when they're nice and new, they fold out nice and easy. I don't know, they set for a while, they become a pain in the butt. Then you're trying to fold them out and they just crumble and you get mad and you just throw it in the trash. Yeah. But good news, we have a new uh, talk for the Can-Am that fits perfectly. It even says Can-Am on it, right there. Anyway, it fits, it works, solving, problem, problem solving, solving solved, problem solved, problem solved. I was annoyed for a minute then I realized the problem was just solved. Never used that easy up more than twice since I've had it. I've had it for five, six years. So now it's a tarp. Okay, what's going on? I'm um, just taking a little ride. Yeah? No. Yeah, actually I am. I'm going to talk to some people. Yeah? From far away. It's raining on us. I know. I know. Stop raining on my parade. Ugh. Let me let you in. Wait a minute. Yeah, for some reason, I can't figure out how to get into this car that I get into oh, all the time. I haven't been in it in like weeks. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get my Facebook Live going. 
Alright. So here's what's going on. I mentioned it earlier. Juan, we're getting dripped on. Right there. Uh, I'm gonna put this down. Hopefully it's not too dark in here. It's gonna be fine. Where so is... here's what we're doing. What are we doing? We are getting ready to um, try to do some radio relay. Like see how far we can get the signal with our rugged radios out. Uh, James Murray from Knuckles Up, great idea, posted this morning, which is Sunday morning. Hey, everybody, let's, you know, we're looking for some positive stuff to do. All of us miss our cars and off-roading, so we're going to play with it. Yeah, he said if you're bored. We're not necessarily bored because we actually we have quite a bit going on in there, in the garage. But we thought it would be cool, super cool. Um, we thought it would be super cool. I'm going to start this car because might, the battery might be a little low. Let's see. Pro tips. If you have the option, get up high on a hill, a balcony. We should drive this onto the roof. Make your squelch is set to factory specs. Very low. Best signal. Three on the RM60. If you're receiving a broken signal, move a little bit in any direction in a raise. I meant to hook up the other radio so we could test this. Get away from obstructions. In your garage is the worst place. If it's your only option, push the car out of the garage makes a difference. Turn the engine on if you're being told you're coming in weak. With the engine yeah. running, the battery voltage is, is higher, and yeah. you ensure you get the most power out of the radio. Mm -hmm. Be nice. Okay, here we go. Scott, RM60 in my truck. Oh, yay! Scott's going to be on there. Okay. Yeah. be hard to reach Scott, though. He's mm -hmm. ways away. I mean, these radios are pretty awesome, but they only reach so far. Let's be realistic. They're not They're not meant to reach that far. It's for just communications and, you know, fairly close ranges. You might be able to reach Danny. I don't know if you got the word. Anyway, we'll be right back. Let's see how this goes and we'll come back. Well, I'm just live right now. Hi. Hi. We're going to, um, I'm live for this radio relay just to see, just to see what happens. He's recording me. It's, well, it's shut down because Everywhere of I go, the that virus camera. issue, but not, yeah. yeah so what else are you guys doing besides sitting on, uh, listening to everybody on your radios? Yeah. Okay. So we were able to talk to some neighbors here, actually in town. Actually, in uh, Clovis and Fresno, one of them probably about 10 miles away, eight miles somewhere in there. So that was pretty cool. But we're getting soaked, so we're gonna go back in the garage for a little bit because we are working on this still. It's been a slow process, but we'll be back. We'll show you more in a minute. Okay, so it's been like an hour since the whole we did the radio thing. Um, I kind of checked out because I got a call from from Ned MTS, our, our friends over at MTS off-road shocks i don't know how much haven't talked about them much in the last video or two but we did did just do a video if you didn't see that uh, we just had a retune on our shocks from them they originally tuned our car about 18 months ago we were actually blown away by how good the car felt um 18 months ago but this new tune uh it's hard to explain unless you drive a car that's had the shocks tuned. But <clears throat> we started out, I think our car had about 1,200 miles on it. And we had uh, re we had lifted the car up, you know, set the ride height. So in other words, drop down the rings that, you know, preload the shocks on the springs about probably three times to get the car up to the point where we weren't smacking down. We were also running full compression. So both compressions, both compression adjustments cranked all the way to keep it from bottoming out. <clears throat> and we were still bottoming out. After the tune, uh, we stopped having a problem with bottoming out and the ride was twice as plush, easily, maybe more. Um, after that, or from there, we ran it for about a year and car felt great the entire year no issues uh then ned had over time over that year plus had made some discoveries in his research and development and said hey you know we got another tune you got to try this tune mm -hmm. so we met up in at camp razor no we met up in glamis i think after camp razor recently there's a video up on that and got that new tune and i can't tell you 
so we, we I think we did we did the video in Glamis which is a really good test of shocks no doubt right there's uh, big whoops there's a lot of stuff but for anyone that's ever ridden Glamis versus Pismo Pismo is choppy so if you want to see how your chop feels how that you know how the little stuff feels how bad the car beats you up on that little choppy the little ruts and stuff Pismo is a good test of that we got there and as expected super plush and again bottom out control believe it or not we experience more bottom 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 outs we bottom out more in Pismo than we do in Glamis just because there's uh, in Glamis there's more open rolling it's either more open and rolling high speed or uh, the other uh, kind of riding there is more technical type where in Pismo you get kind of in the middle with some really sh abrupt sharp sharp drop offs and you bottom out a lot in that stuff so anyway quick note on that that's where we stand the car rides incredible anyway back to this okay so anyway like I said we're back in the garage oh my god what is that I'm hungry so we're back in the garage and three days later we have made I don't know we put about 13 tiles in it's beautiful though that took three days and 17 hours we're gonna come back over here we're gonna start actually we're gonna start actually getting something done in this corner we're gonna lay all this tile up I think editing a video my way what? for patreon our patrons get to have some behind the scenes access they get to see the dance party that just occurred between me and you <laughs> dance off. all right so anyway um this took me a while because i had to cut you know like there's this black edge we made it goes right to the garage door we close down close it down i had to cut around there i had to cut some pieces to fit all back up under there and now, hopefully, we to keep saying this, we're just going to lay down a bunch of glue and we start laying vinyl tiles like crazy. Right? It's going to go so fast, babe. trying to edit this cool picture just to see 
Look at that. It has space in it. Outer space. That's cool. I know. So we're starting to actually make a little bit of progress. This didn't take too long. This is moving on quicker. These vinyl tiles are uh, curled up a little bit. And this glue is not actually tacky yet. But I want to get it all laid down. It looks good. So I'm just doing it anyway. That's my breakdance zone. Breakdown zone? Yeah, I wanted it to be white, so I'm like, you know, there's contrast. Okay. So anyway, once it dries a little bit, we'll roll it, stick it down. It'll be good. We'll be back. I know that's not the way to do it, probably. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right, right? It's all right. All this one. Moving some of these parts back to our new and improved yeah. clean zone. So we ran out of glue. We're not going to finish the rest of this floor in this video. It'll be in lots of videos coming up. Um, we're going to finish up this video because we're tired. It's Sunday. And we're, we're probably just... all high on fumes because I was break dancing. Yeah, uh, we didn't get as much. Uh, we didn't get as much done as we'd hoped. We didn't. This we is ran out of glue. That's a lot you got done, look. We only have this much tile left anyway. We ran out of glue, but we got this. Well, this, all of this, and this one black strip that goes all the way up. It looks we have good. this mess because we had to move stuff out to But look make under room. the bench. Yeah, and then, and then Bryce. I mean, it's still. The there was a lot of stuff under there. Ow. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna put some of the stuff back over here, see how it looks, and we're gonna do something crazy. I wanna show you something. What is it? See my gloves I just got? No, that's because they're invisible. Look, it's true. This gelatinous substance, invisible glove hand protectant from my mother. Look at that. I feel protected. I'm supposedly, from what I've read online, this protect, this is like mechanic stuff. You use it like so you get grease and like chemicals and paint and stuff. I get dirty sometimes out here. Uh, it's supposed to wash right off. I'm going to test it by... Uh, I know what I need. Um, I'm like a gymnast. <laughs> I need this. Just one little... To see if this really works. I'm going to wash it off later and see if it comes right off. Wait, do a little bit more. Ah! More? Do it on the back again. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Supposedly, once it's on you, once I use soap and water later, this paint comes right off with my invisible gloves. Did you get it on your nails, too? I did. All right. Let's see what happens. Invisible gloves. Pretty cool. Invisible gloves. All right, we're going to put some of this stuff back over here, see how this looks, and then we're going to close this out because we are tired. It's end of day Sunday. We didn't really get much done out here because we did radio relay. We, yeah, we did a bunch of other stuff. We kept just getting sidetracked on other projects, but that's how it's gonna look when it's done. We just got to get some more glue. I already know this so, is gonna work. So we, had a, we have a divider here, a black line that goes all the way up. Can't see the whole thing because there's stuff. It's on a design it. element. And then here is where a welder, uh, floor jack, jack stand, stuff like that all that stuff it'll be white all the way up to the door and then we'll finally be done with the tile oh. it only took like a year we're busy well unless we don't finish this and it takes another year then two no years. no there's no way that's happening it's different now all right we'll be back um what do you want over here baby the tire tool oh. well ow um well we got this straightened up again and you started the whites 
on my break floor, my breakdance floor. My break. It's white over there. <laughs> yeah, so today was another staycation day. Mm -hmm. uh, probably short, a little bit of a short video, but uh, we can't ride right now. We were gonna do, we had plans. We were gonna work on the car. We were going to- We turned to, the car on. Yeah. The uh, Can-Am, yeah. it's not even in here. Yep. We were gonna work on it. We were gonna do some stuff on the car, but we kept getting sidetracked. We had we had things going on. We had some we had a conference call with some people about some upcoming stuff that yeah, might be upcoming. Call. Yeah, some really cool, interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, we but oh, we did do this. What did we do? We did some flooring. We're like, oh, yeah. this is a year in. Oh yeah, look at that. So ultimately, this is gonna go, you know, all the way. But we ran out of glue. Uh, but we got, so we did this, and we did this. Oh, there's a piece sticking up. Blue's it looks down. good. But we did this black line, and what that black line is, is that's separating this area. The work area. Which is our, where the car. You know why? No parking on the dance floor. That's the dance floor. Exactly. This is where the car gets parked. <laughs> this is where we work. This is currently our tire storage. Uh, we are going to get rid of some of these no, tires. Don't look over there. That's yeah. my need to do stuff. Yeah, that's the need to do area yeah. right there. We're going to, we're hanging up some of our, what do we call this? The, the wall, wall of oops. Of, the wall of oops. That's oops, that broke. That, that occurred in the big rollover of 2015. I cannot believe that we rolled our new side by side. Ridiculous. I mean, who does that? Oh, I'm not, I'm not talking about the Can-Am. The Can-Am's fine. I'm actually talking about the Razor. You all right? Yep. And I didn't even drop my phone. <laughs> and I got it on video. <laughs> uh -oh. That is a razor seat base. Mm -hmm. And when we rolled in 2015, we rolled our razor back in 2015. I have more to add to that wall. It broke it. Uh, a arm, bent A arm. Uh, doors aren't broken. They're just, uh, they're not on the car. They just represent right them. Um, you don't. know, you did bang up the new door after we took those off. So we're just going to count that. There you go. So, and we got new door skins back here so we could fix our door. But we just I need a bunch of stickers. It. it has character. Yeah. I think we should. So we got one bad tire here, one bad tire here. I think we oh. should do something. Okay, let me tell you something. We did a, um, a test. I have some invisible gloves on. You might not be able to see them, but that's because well, they're, they're invisible. They're invisible. It's this stuff. If you watched the whole video, you would have seen this already, but you, whatever, I'm not opening it. It's gelatinous invisible gloves space age whatever so apparently you're supposed to be able to get stuff on you and then just wash with soap and water and it comes right off and it acts as a skin protectant we're gonna find out let's right see now. if that's true soap and water i don't want to use this soap do i mm. i want to act like i don't have any mechanic soap. hang on follow me here Let's do this soap. Regular old soap, water. It's supposed to just wash all the. This is paint, by the way. I don't know. I hope it doesn't work. Huh? Well, if it doesn't work, then mm -hmm. I'm gonna have dirty mm -hmm. hands. I'm gonna have to use that one. Oh, wait, it is working though. Look. And you painted your hands for nothing. No, but look. It is. Like I'm not even scrubbing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. whoa, look guys. Little flash back right here to where you painted your pants. Yeah, just one little piece to see if this really works. I'm going to wash it off later and see if it comes right off. Wait, do a little bit more. Ah, more? Do it on the back of your hand. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. 
and I had grease all over them and I could feel the stuff coming off and get slippery again. Mm. Look at that. They were dirty. Oh my God. Look. So we're gonna call it a win, it works. Holy, holy balls, mom. Good job. All right, let's go show them what this stuff is. Cause okay, cool. wow. Okay, it's geared towards like mechanics and from what I read, it was like an aircraft mechanic type of a invention or whatever. Um, so this is what it was. It's Invisible Gloves, number 1211, Space Age High Tech Product. And it says that this little pint can make 100 pairs of gloves. Pretty amazing. That, I didn't scrub or anything. All right. So anyway. Oh, that's a win. Oh, also, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying, um, I hope you're enjoying the channel overall. But right now we're staycationing and being positive. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your family. Make the best of it, right? Thank you guys to all of you that have subscribed. I keep saying, and I mean it, we have the best subscribers on the YouTube. Oh, and guys, we found out today that we were voted the number one YouTube channel. Yeah. Thank you. you did. We voted. Yeah. I voted yes. She voted yes. I voted yes. So number one. Woo. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It does help us out. Um, we have some really cool stuff coming up. I talk about giveaway. We have some other, we have some things happening in the works. We have some big news. We have some... We have some stuff going on. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, and also ring that bell to get notified because you're probably going to want to see what's coming up. We have some, uh, you know, we're going to be following along with Robbie Gordon on that speed side by side and how his vehicle is progressing. We're excited to get back out and ride. So thank you guys. Thank you to our Patreons, uh, our patrons. I'm sorry. Um, thank you to our subscribers. I don't know. Can't wait to see you guys in the sand. So peace. Peace. Whoa. Sorry, that.